boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Everly. Hi, I'm here with Everly and Logan, and we thought we'd read you another story. It's been a couple weeks since we read you a new story, and this is one of our favorites, but we haven't read it this year yet. It's called Froggy Learns to Swim. Do you know that story? Or any other froggy books, maybe? There's a bunch of froggy books, and they're all kind of funny. And I thought this was a good one because I know some kids are starting to swim. Some kids are starting to go in their pool or in their grandma's pool or even in their little pool in their backyard, like a little baby pool. We went in the sprinkler and then we got to swim this weekend. So do you want to tell them about where you got to swim? We got to swim at Nana and Papa Playhouse. Did you? Mm. Yeah. So we got to visit Nana and Papa's lake house and Everly and Logan got to swim in the water there and it was so much fun but it was also a little cold. It was it 60 cold. degrees the water but they were just like crazy. It wasn't cold. Did I go in? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. They went with daddy. Yeah right? you did. I didn't. I sat there and got some sun. So that was fun. So I thought Everly and Logan and my students would like this book about Froggy Learns then to then Swim. Then. So he's learning, just like Everly and Logan are learning. Okay, do you guys know how to swim or are you still learning? Probably you're still learning or you're still practicing getting better at it. Okay, so let's see what happens. Froggy Learns to Swim. Let's make sure they can see the book. Froggy learns to swim. It was hot. It's a great day for a swim, said Froggy's mother. So Froggy and his parents flopped outside to the pond. Flop, flop, flop. flop. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think everybody knows that the Froggy books always make funny sounds like that. Flop, flop, flop. On your mark, get set, go. Froggy's father sailed in. Splash! Froggy's mother sailed in. Splash! But where was Froggy? Oh, right here. Froggy! Froggy! Called his mother. Called his mother. What? Come on in and swim. Come on in and swim. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know how to swim. I want to swim. Swing. Whee! sang Froggy, swinging higher and higher. He swung so high he almost touched the sky. He swung so high he wound round and round the crossbar. And zing! This reminds me of something. Does this remind anybody of anything that they might do at home? Me. Does it remind you of something? It reminds me of me. Yeah? Tell us. Uh, I like going high in the swing. Oh, yeah, going high in the me swing? Too. Yes. It reminds me of when Everly and Logan go high in the swings and they're like, push me higher, push me higher. Push me, I go Everly's high. getting good at pumping now, too. So she's learning how to pump um, by herself more. Hi, Mommy, Daddy's done. Yeah. Okay. So he goes, zing. Then he unwound like a spring, zing, and flew through the air. air. He's going to go in the water. I think so. It looks like that. That reminds me of somebody. That reminds you of something? Yeah. What? Somebody. Somebody? Yeah. When you jumped in the lake, maybe? Zing! You jumped right in. When I was on a slide, it was like that. Yes, yeah. I really went from a slide into the lake this weekend. Yep, and it actually swam. <laughs> right smack I'm into this pond. Splash! Splash! What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Asked Froggy's mother. I'm drowning! Cried Froggy. Help! Help. He grabbed a hold of his mother and climbed on. What do you mean you're drowning? Don't you know frogs are born in the water? 
They are great swimmers. They're great swimmers. Not me, blubbled Froggy. I can't swim. Oh, fiddlestick, she said. I'll show you how. Oh, fiddlestick. First, float on your belly and stick your face in. I won't let go. Say bubble bubble underwater, then raise your face for air and say toot toot. I don't want to, Froggy whined. Oh, come on, Froggy. Just try it. Repeat after me. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, sputtered Froggy. Great. Now float on your back and do the frog kick. I won't let go. Then go like this. And she showed Froggy. This is what she's doing. She showed Froggy how, saying, Chicken, airplane, soldier. Do it and repeat after me. Chicken, airplane, soldier. Can you try it? Chicken. Chicken, airplane, soldier. I don't want to, whined Froggy. Oh, come on, Froggy. Just try it. Can I try Yeah, you try. Chicken. Airplane. Airplane. Soldier. Good. Chicken, airplane, soldier. Grass gasped Froggy. He globbed and blubbed and almost sank. Mommy, I need flippers, then I'll swim. So Froggy clum, climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his flippers, zoop. He flopped back to the pond, flop, flop, splash. Now try it again, said Froggy's mother. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane soldier. He globbed and blubbed and almost sank. Chicken. Mommy, I need my mask and snorkel. Then I'll swim. Then I will swim. Do you think he really needs all that stuff? Uh, no. I think he's just kind of pretending. That's stalling. He wants to not swim. Froggy climbed out and flopped back to his house. He pulled on his mask and snorkel. Zook, zick, and flopped back to the pond. Flop, flop, splash! Now, one more time, said Froggy's mother. Want to say it with me? Yeah. What did she say? Bubble, bubble, toot, toot, chicken, airplane, soldier. And then it happened. Oops, spluttered Froggy. What's the matter? Asked his mother. Oh, nothing, he said looking more red in the face than green. Well, it's getting cold, Froggy. It's time to get out. No, no, I can't get out. He loves the water. Why not? Why not? Why doesn't he want to get out? Because he learns how to swim and he's so Maybe. Gray. But I think you forgot a funny part. Well, and he blubbled under the water while she crawled out. Then he burst up for air and yelled, Wait! What is it? asked his mother. Remember? Why can't he get out? Can I see? My bathing suit! My he shouted. Don't look, I'm getting out. Froggy climbed out and yanked on his bathing suit with a zap of elastic. And he pulled on his flippers, zoop! And he sailed back into the pond. Flop, flop, splash. So what happened to his bathing suit? Uh, his bathing suit got stuck. Yeah, I think it like fell off in the water. Because he didn't want anyone to see him. Froggy! Called his mother. What? I told you it's time to get out. No, no. I don't want to get out. I want I to swim. swim. Froggy's mother and father shook her, shook their heads and said, I told you frogs are great swimmers, and sat down with Froggy's father to watch him. And Froggy sang. Bubble, bubble, toot, toot. Chicken, airplane, soldier.
all uh, night mm -hmm. long. Zwip. Mm -hmm. The end. Can you just want to say? So, that was cute, wasn't it? And I want you to think about how, if you're like Froggy, like, do you like to swim a lot? I or love to. Do you like, are you like Froggy in the beginning of the book? Or are you like Froggy at the end of the book? I like Froggy at the end of the book. You're like him at the end? Yeah. Because you like to swim? Yeah. Some kids maybe don't like to swim, or they're afraid like Froggy. So I want you to think about, what does this book remind you of? Does Mommy. it remind you of when you go swimming? Mommy. Or does it remind you of when you feel scared about something? Or does it remind you of the swing set part in there? We talked about a couple things that reminds us of. Mommy, yes. uh, do you like to go to the swing and go in the water? Mm -hmm. I do like to swim, but I like to swim when it is pretty hot out. It has to be hot enough. And the water has to be warm enough. I don't like it when it's too cold like it was this weekend. It was warm. <laughs> it got warm when they were in there for a while. They thought it was pretty warm. All right, let's say good night because it is getting late. It's getting dark out. It is just about bedtime. And we lost Logan. He wants to go with Dad. Yeah, so we're going to say good night. Have a great night. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> night night.